Good evening, folks. Welcome to an hour underground. I'm your host, Johnny Bonghead. Tonight, we figured, with all the steps technology is taking nowadays, we get in on the fun. That's what you see in front of you here. This, not that, though that's fun too. It's called the flashback phone. Apparently, this device, we are able to call into the past, even before phones were invented. Let's give it a whirl, huh? Sounds pretty far out. Looks like we just dial a number into here. And let me try it. Alright. Dial the number and we should see it on the screen if you hooked it up correctly. Brucey? Hey, don't blame your crappy equipment not working. I can't polish a turd. Not that I haven't tried. It's impossible. Polishing turds? Making shiny equipment work. And polishing turds. They're both impossible. Okay. Well, let's make a call. Just be sure you don't screw up and say anything crucial about the future. Polishing turds? Hey! Just be sure you don't screw up. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, let's call George Washington. Our rapping cameraman, Warm Luke, is a descendant of his. Uh, what? I am? Who told you that? I know a lot about you, Warm. Then you know that's my last name, right? My first name's Luke. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I'm a rapper. Uh-huh. It's ringing. Hello. Hello, this is George Washington. Holy shit, it worked? Such foul language spits from yonder contraption. What tomfoolery is afoot? Uh, I understood like two words that were just said. You want to buzz a flow? It goes, when I'm not shooting with my camera, I'm shooting with a gat. And again, I understood nothing. Pointing a camera at my man, you're thinking, is his head emptier than Abraham Lincoln's? After John Wilkes Booth made room a second after his gun went boom? <laughs> Look at Bondi! I cannot tell a lie. That was horrid. And who is Abraham Lincoln? Uh, no one. Talk to you later. Hello? That was close. Forget this thing. Let's go to a cartoon. Homeless and I want a pint of vodka. Have you any change to spare? I should probably get a job, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna sit and play my guitar. Get some more money from ya. Ain't getting no money from me, bum. Hey, fuck you! All I want is another pint of vodka. So I can get drunk and sing about vodka. Hoping you'll give me more change for vodka. Give me, give me, give me more money. Uh, all I need is like 35 cents more. Yeah, that's all we need. More drunk bums running around here. Hey, shut the fuck up, man. I live under a bridge where I drink my vodka. Ironically, the bridge is called Vodka Bridge Vodka. I grew a beard to soak up my spilled vodka. Vodka, 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 vodka. I want some vodka, damn it. Give me 35 more cents, please! And welcome back, folks, to An Hour Underground. I'm your host, Johnny Bonghead. With me are Billy and Ronnie of Collapse. How you doing, guys? Doing, doing awesome, man. All doing right, great. great. Glad you guys stopped by. Thanks for having us. Anybody who's not familiar with you, uh, care to give them a brief description? A brief description would be party. Punk. Metal. That would be us. Party punk metal all the way, man. Three words. Yeah, that's very brief. Sure. All right, awesome. Party punk metal. Mm -hmm. All right. And how long have you guys been active for? 2001. Since 2001? Yep, since 2001. So we've been doing this for about 14 years. Nice. We've been pounding away with the same name and, and loving it, man. Just... Wow. Speaking of names, uh, the meaning of your name, I've always assumed that it meant bringing the house down of sorts. Is Am I correct in that assumption? Absolutely. Well, you know, bring down the house, yeah, that, that hits on it. Party um, till you collapse. Uh, yeah, go till you collapse, man. Give them your all and don't stop giving it to them, you know. Just, just let them have life, you know, and uh, give them what they pay for to see. So many folks, uh, real quick on this, they, they have little money, they get out that one time, you better give it to them because that's their one time out of the house. So yeah, every show, yeah. yeah, every show, you must give them everything, no matter how bad or how good the circumstances are. You know. Yeah. Yes, so. sir. 
Awesome. Um, any influence, or what are you guys' influence? You know, you got party punk metal, you got, you got the fast guitar, you got the pounding drums. Where, where are we? Well, we where want all these influences from. We want to absolutely uh, pay homage to Dimebag Daryl of Pantera and all of Pantera for yeah. being one of our number yeah. one influences. Pantera will be one of our number one influences on the metal side of life. And, yeah. uh, you know, on the the punk side of life, there, there's, there's so much, uh, you know. Uh, from me back way back like the um, dead milkman um, which is weird but uh, you know DRI um, you know uh, there was there was some stuff going on there for me growing up uh, the red hot chili peppers thing um, not that the they're misfits. The misfits. The misfits has got to be one of the biggest influences on our punk side. Yeah. Just bands that kind of said, you know what, I'm different from the others, you know, and that's uh, it, that's what stands out when we do creations of writing and things and uh, lots of them, man. I don't know. <laughs> too many to list. Huh? Yeah, it's right, too right. much to get. Yeah, you go on all day on that one, yeah. you know. Well. Maybe another show we'll go. We'll, we'll just go collapse his influences. We'll have a little ticker. The <laughs> influences right, right. of. Oh, yes. Well, I have a game that I'd like to play with you guys. Yeah, this is brand new. Never been heard before. Never been seen or tried. Whatever. I call it the name game. Are you guys ready? We love name game. All right. Well, in this segment, we're going to take some ideas I had, and we're going to make names for them. All right. So the number one, number one error, biologists have recently discovered a poisonous snake that hides inside barbecue grills. A poisonous snake that hides inside barbecue grills. What would you name this, Billy and Ronnie? The oh, beef burger Boat chow burger? snake. <clears throat> the beef burger chow snake, he says, and I'm going to go with the... Onion Muncher. The Onion Muncher. <laughs> well, those are both good names, but it looks like we're going to call it the Coal Asp. Okay. Asp, because it. it is a snake. It's a snake, yes. Kiss my asp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our second question, second product we're naming. We have a program for mobile devices that gives you recipes for shredded lettuce and cabbage. What would we call this? Hmm. You know, I... Uh, right now coming to mind green machine rabbit food rabbit food and green machine both good guesses but it looks like it's called the coal apps <laughs> all right our third our third product we're going to name is a donkey that is kept in frigid conditions who would buy that Right. All right. Well, I guess regardless, we need to name a donkey that is kept in frigid conditions. Eeyore. An Eeyore. Uh, David. David. Eeyore, which is Ronnie backwards. Oh. Eeyore. <laughs> it looks like it's a cold ass. <laughs> That'd be a cold ass, well, Tom. I think they're stretching with that coal saw joke. That, that doesn't even work. All right, uh, let's, let's get back to the interview. Fuck this game. All right. Um, oh well, you know what? Let's actually get to a music video. How about one of your guys's? You wanna, uh, how about Ratfi? Ratfink is awesome. We had it put together by a really good friend of ours. Observe the absurd. It's a claymation video. I think you'll all dig it. Check it out. Awesome. Well, let's watch that. Ratfink here on An Hour Underground. We'll be back.
so hot, there's a burn mark on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, that's for my incense. Oh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Observe the Absurd presents Verbal Conflict. Yes! We pulled it off! And you said it couldn't be done. No, it was a pizza restaurant. Of course it could be pulled off. It's not Fort Knox. Well, you said we couldn't do it. I said I probably shouldn't do it with you. But regardless, let's count our haul. Our haul? Yeah, our haul. You know, the money, the dough. Oh, the dough. Yeah. W what is this? The dough? Pizza dough? You grabbed the pizza dough? Yeah. Where's the money at? I didn't grab any money. I just grabbed the dough. Why on earth would you do that? Because you said grab the dough. If you said grab the money, I would have. I feel as if we've had this conversation before. We have. The music store? You told me to grab the loot? Hey, you know, but music, that's what it does, right? Yeah, it, it Makes moves, you yeah. wanna have some fun with the music.
time now i'm your host johnny bong and again i have billy and ronnie with me from collapse welcome back guys well i guess you didn't go anywhere but welcome well, back viewers to our show it's well, like uh, uh welcome back cotter you know i mean we're here again yeah all right and what we don't have here with me are some of your guys' new members you get some new members yes, yes we do uh, have we have dan todd and uh paul alley yeah our uh, ali or I think it's, it's like not Muhammad Ali. I think it's Ali. Ali, I believe. It's it's a weird pronunciation. Dan's been with us for about a year. Uh, and we went through some change-ups and some members. Uh, we had a different drummer when Dan first started. He is now gone. But, he up. but exactly, yeah, he, he crashed up. and burned, you know. He, he hit something. He and collapsed. He, yeah, yeah he he colla he's gone. He collapsed. Um, so... Uh, we have uh, Paul Ali, and then uh, Dan Todd has been here uh, about a year, and uh, we are just looking forward to bringing back the old sounds. And and so we're 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 going back to our old substance. roots and uh, the old roots. Uh, everything Truth that we've done uh, Truth in the past. What are we talking about right? Truth, uh, yes, absolutely. we are. That being our third CD ever, um, uh, that's our third one. A lot of people don't know this. I mean, if you're a diehard Collapse fan, you might have the first one. But there's a very small handful of people that had the first one. But uh, this is one that uh, brought us to the masses. And everybody's happy with Truth Eye. So we are doing the Truth Eye music uh, with the new drummer. Giving them the old songs, the old sounds that they love so much. Because Paul is doing an awesome job in bringing that sound back. And uh, we just kind of uh, have a common ground. We just, we're going to start with the CD and uh, uh, work out all these songs. That way we have a set to play and... We can uh, go ahead and hit the hit the road running and, and go ahead and start playing some shows and and, and build on our yeah our foundation and, and then build yep. on our uh, build on what we're doing with that because that is really where the magic is with collapse so we're gonna build on that and try to make sure that we we follow that influence of the the punk party metal so. we really believe in the entertainment factor and it's a uh, you know the music has to be decent but you also have to get in there and entertain the crowd and do something a little different, throw that energy out there and, and run the marathon, so to speak. Yeah. So they feed off that. You just Absolutely. stand there staring at your shoes, no one's gonna want to listen to you. Right, no. right. Exactly. You can't read my label. You can't well, read my label. My next question. My label If you guys read. couldn't have collapsed as a band name, say someone came in and told you you had to change it, what would your secondary name be? What would your backup name be? Hmm. There's uh, a lot of things going on there. Billy, what was your first name for the band? Um, probably Deadbolt. Deadbolt. He Dead says Bolt. Deadbolt, you know, um, fall down, quick, quick reference to collapse. But then there's the, the band name that I thought of when we were trying to name ourselves, and Beyond. And like Beyond coming medicine? from Toy Story. What? To infinity and beyond, because I could, thought I could go and beyond. But we dropped the D and it's Ambion, right? It was just weird. I tried. It got booed. <laughs> so is that so. like trying to get out of the hood? Yeah, yeah so and beyond uh, because we want to be on a tour good. bus like all bands. Here we are, you know, we uh, Reverb Nation. We're, we're, yeah, so here we go. We, yeah. just, we like yeah. finding the locals in the world. and Yeah, make know. sure and check us out on uh, Collapse KC on Facebook and uh, give us a like, please. Yeah, definitely give us a like. We love likeies. Likey. Next question. This is one of my strange ones. If you could be any one of the Beatles, who would you be? And then what Beatle would you punch? If given the opportunity. I'd want to be John Lennon. Just because he was a an amazing musician and and uh, got an Yoko Ono. just an amazing person and and uh, some of the emotions that go into his songs uh, um, moved some people and uh, the See, person that I would punch would probably be uh, Paul McCartney. See, and that'd be for you, Paul. me, John Lennon. I don't want to get shot in the chest outside of my apartment building and die like that. Oh. The last thing I see is like a brick wall. So I'm going to have to go with, and I'm not really sure how he died, Ringo Starr or George Harrison. Is he still going? I, no, he died. He, he, he died too. Yeah. yeah right. uh, oh, well, let me go be Ringo because I, I, I'm just guessing. Um, or maybe I'll be the other Paul McCartney because the one there is just now fake. But 
I'll, I'll go with Ringo and punch Paul McCartney because he's still alive. Yeah. Right. All right. Some that. Yeah, I would. I guess. Uh, I would. I don't know who I'd be. Is and Ringo be sounds cool. I have to look at my own death then afterward. Yeah, I don't know if I'd rather have cancer or get shot. So. Right. So. Right. Well, what did Ringo die from? Can anybody tell me? Because I'm just. Oh, my friends would get mad at me for not knowing this question. Ugh. Mm. I can Google it. <laughs> Google it. Mm. But, all right. Well, you know, Randy the Macho Man is dead too. That's yeah, weird. That's, yeah, he snapped weird. into too many Slim Jims. That's yes, right, right. Ringo had a Slim Jim factory, I believe. Ah, uh, that, that could have been it. Could, yeah, could have been Macho Ringo Man broke too, in. You know? Yeah, <laughs> snapped Ringo instead of a yeah, Slim Jim. Yeah, that, that's probably how he died. That, I, that's, that's, that's exactly sounds right. logical. I, mean, I remember reading that on Wikipedia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, it could be. It, could be. it was on the yeah. internet, so it must be true. Yes. yes, they posted it. All right. Well, how about local favorites? You guys got any local bands you want to shout out to or let people be known of? Yeah, Electro Possum. Electro Possum. I'm going Billy. Uh, automatic. Uh, I like different in the scene. I, I want to go to a show and not see mainstream people. I want to go to a show and I want to see something and experience something that they aren't playing on the radio. Um, you know, there's you, uh, was was is a great band. Was is awesome. Um, uh, do you like you you like me some metal? Oh man, uh, Anger Child, out of, Anger, Anger Child. Child out of out of Over St. Louis. Yeah. If, you know, I mean, they're just, I, there's there's a lot of bands. Um, one of my huge old local favorites, no longer together. Bent, uh, man, there's just. We like uh, so Crisis three point We like um, yeah. uh, Adam Evolving. Those guys are amazing. Uh, oh, Adam just, Evolving! Oh you want to talk about a guy that can sing? Go check out Adam Evolving, and you will be blown away. There's just yeah, that's a great. They put on a great and, show. All okay. right, They're a really good show. There's there's a lot in the Kansas City local scene that people are missing. You know, you want to go buy tickets for the Sprint Center to see Fall Out Boy? Go for it. You want, you want to go to Kings of Leon? Go for it. But let me tell you, you're missing the real Kings of Leon and the real Fallout Boys. They're already here in Kansas City. And I, and that's just with the rock side. The metal side, there's just so much to offer here. People, you really need to go to a local venue and, and check out some of these bands. You're going to be surprised. It's, it's going to open your eyes and, and your mind. And, and yeah. I don't know what else to say. Oh, and we do believe in all the bands. Collapse being a band for the bands. Uh, we we really support everybody, and we want everybody to get out there and give it everything they've got to really try to build the scene bigger because it's not about any one band. It's about making this scene uh, here in Kansas City be community. one of the biggest well, community scenes. Go out and get yourself a $5 entry at one of these bars and check out some of these bands. And, and, and get yourself that extra drink because you saved that money and have some fun with your life, you know? You're missing it. The internet can't provide enough of the reality and the real experience that you're going to get at one of these clubs seeing a real band play before you that has a sound that you haven't heard before. And they're your friends and neighbors, too. Yeah. Yes, exactly. People yeah. that you go to work with every day and people that have blood, sweat, and tears right yeah. alongside you every day. And, and we're fans just like anybody else. We love to get out and support the bands and... And just uh, have a night off from playing and actually um, uh, just listen to the music. It, yeah. It's uh, it's yeah. cool. Get to see someone else put, uh, put their work on stage. Absolutely. Just play oh, their it's work, awesome. I guess even would you be know? a better way to Sure. You, you can watch a huge band and, and think, wow, this is everything. But let me tell you, there's some local bands that can give you more than that big band. You just, you got to get out there. You got to spend your five to ten dollar door entry, and you got to go to these clubs and see some real stuff. Man. Well, That's all national acts were local acts at one time. Yeah, everybody you know, was, so, yeah. you know. Uh, it never know. You never know. Just being God right smack right latest time. hit back in nineteen ninety five when nobody came out, nobody listened. What's this new song? And that's truth, man. Everybody comes from something. And everybody has to start somewhere. And the starting line is these clubs. You need to go check out tomorrow's new talent. I mean, the band Absolutely. that you watch today could be two years from now blowing up all over the place. And you drank with them. Now, how cool would that be? Yeah, you know? exactly. Get out there and see these people. They're working. They got dreams just like everybody else. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have future plans or plans for the future? Many a kick-ass shows in 2015. 
May we party with a lot of great bands, make some new, new brothers, some new sisters, whatever, some new people in the music community. Um, may we all just get along and, and hang out and have good times, and that's yeah, what we're looking peace. for. Yeah, 2015 is just it's more about having fun for me every year. You know, the door closes that much more the older you get in the music community of ever making it. So for me, every year is just a just sinking your teeth into it. You know, yeah. Push Give me something I can live taste, your life you to know? the fullest, and, baby. Yep, till you collapse. Absolutely, till you go down. Right. That's well, it. Well, guys, I thank you so much for stopping by here. Absolutely. And uh, uh, I guess we'll be. We're gonna burn one with Johnny Bonghead in a minute. Yeah, we're gonna roast this Look at that big bad boy. Take care. Wave goodbye, guys.